you, Kelly. Well, many people don't realize that there are many different breeds of cats, just like dogs. One of the oldest breeds is the Siamese. Here to tell us more about this type of breed is Fran Freitas, head veterinary technician with Surf Paws Animal Hospital. Welcome, Fran. Nice to see Morning. you again. Tell us who you brought. This is Kimiko. She's a 10-month-old blue tip Siamese. Mm -hmm. um, when I say blue tip, um, the Siamese breed comes with four different tips, meaning the colors. Um, so she's a blue. They also come in lilac, seal point, and chocolate point. Um, the seals and chocolates are a little darker. Um, the blue is like almost like a gray, and the lilac's a little lighter. Okay. And this is your cat. This She's is my yours. baby, yes. Okay, so you know firsthand about what they're like and what it takes to care for one. I used to think that they were unusual because back in the day they seemed mysterious uh, and unique, but now you say it's more common. It's fairly common. Um, they were said to be originated from the um, sacred cats of Siam, which is now Thailand. Um, so I think that's where they get that um, mysterious look from. Um, but they're pretty well known to be, um, you know, very social cats. Um, you see the picture is of Kimiko and some of her family members. Um, you know, they like to hang out together, mm -hmm. sleep together. So cute. Um, a little opposite of what the stereotype of a cat, you mm -hmm. know, how they like to say they like to hang out by themselves. Right. Um, so the Siamese breed is very people, it's a very people cat. Um, they want to get in bed and cuddle with you, um, you know, play with each other, play with the family members. Now, I've seen other breeds that look similar. Are the Siamese related to other breeds? Um, it's actually said that because they're one of the original breeds, a lot of the breeds we see today um, are descendants of the Siamese breed. So they're kind of like one of the founding, I guess, fathers of the cat breeds. And you say that Siamese cats are actually uh, social. Um, she's also kind of vocal, and you say that's normal. They're very, very vocal. So another thing that they're known for is their voice. Um, they like to talk and... Um, it's said to sound almost like a baby cry or a baby talking mm -hmm. um, when they want something, when they want to play, when they're hungry, um, just all the time, you know, talking and mm -hmm. um, it's really fun, but it can be very loud. Any type of special care medically or dietary needs for um, Siamese? Nothing special. You know, as all animals, we recommend a very good quality food. Um, Kimiko actually eats a um, brand that makes um, a food specifically for the Siamese cat. Um, you know, it's said to have everything that they need. They've studied it and everything. Mm -hmm. um, regular vet care, just like any other animal. Mm -hmm. And you have two, and you say that they get along they well. They get along well. They play together. They like to run around. I can show you one. So they're really well known for their wedge-shaped face mm -hmm. and their long tubular body um, with their long legs, and they have the beautiful blue eyes that are almond-shaped. Very pretty. Well, Fran Freitas, thank you so much from Surf Paws for being here and for bringing Kimiko. Thank you.